my name's Rob from National Compliance Training and today I'm going to demonstrate how we complete a pre-inspection check on a counterbalance forklift truck. It's important that we keep a formal record of our pre-use inspection. We can do this using a pre-use inspection check sheet as shown here in an RTITB version. We start our pre-inspection check by looking at the forks. The first thing I check is that there's no sharp areas by the tips ensuring that the forks are straight and true and ensuring that there's no cracks around the heel area or anywhere else on the fork. We also need to make sure that the pin is fully in place. These checks should be completed for both forks. Once I've checked the forks, I need to move on to the carriage plate, making sure that the, ca that the castellations are clear of any debris and there's no clear signs of damage and that all bolts are fully done up. Following the carriage plate, we look at the back plate. The back plate should have all the bolts fully tight and there shouldn't be any massive areas of damage or areas of bending. The next thing that we check is the mast itself. Firstly starting with the outer mast to ensure there's no clear areas of damage or distortion. The inner mast should be free from dirt and debris. The rollers should be clear from distortion and excessive wear or flat spots. Our next check is on the chain and the chain pulleys themselves, making sure that none of the pins are loose and insecure or show signs of damage. The pulleys also need to be checked for any distortion or flat spots. It's important to remember that this is a visual check and we shouldn't be touching any of the mechanics of the truck. Our area of focus then shifts to the hydraulic systems making sure that the pipes are free from damage or cracks through age or wear. We also need to check to see if there's any issues with the seals on the hoses or hydraulic system. An easy check for this is also to see if there's any leakage under the truck itself. Next we check the wheels and tyres. Firstly I check all of the nuts are in place and that everything looks tight. Does the tyre look in good condition and is it above the wear line that we can clearly see on the tyre here. In this case, this is a new tyre, so we can see that this is absolutely fine. I need to check all three tyres on the truck before we can continue the check. We also need to check the external condition of the truck. Moving around the truck to check for any areas of damage or any dangerous protrusions. Scratches and scuffs are absolutely fine. We just need to make sure that all of the bodywork is in a good condition. The rated capacity plate contains all the important information about the truck, its capabilities and what it's able to lift. It's important that this is clean and clearly visible from the driver's seat so that it's always there as a reference when lifting and operating the machine. Next I check the seat position. Is the seat fully adjusted to where I need it? Adjust the seat forward and back, up and down to get it into the position that's best suited to your driving. Now we can go through the starting procedure of the truck and check that everything else is okay. First I insert the key into the ignition and turn the truck on. I can see that I've got plenty of battery and that there's no error messages on the computer in the, in the cab itself. So we can go through and do some light and audible checks. First, we can check the lights. As you can see, they all work absolutely fine. And then we can do our audible checks. Firstly with the horn. And by checking our reversing warning. Which again, we can hear and know is all working fine. Now that we've completed the visual checks, it's time to ensure that the truck is fully functional. First I'm going to test the hydraulics, checking the tilt, and the mast itself. and back down again. <laughs> the 
Now that we've completed the hydraulic checks, we need to check the movement of the truck. With the forks in travelling position, I'm first going to put the truck into gear, do my observations, release the handbrake, and move forwards before checking the brakes. Place the truck into reverse. and checking the brakes. Our final check is the steering of the truck, as the manoeuvring of the truck around the warehouse is of the utmost importance. To do this, we're going to again put the truck into gear, complete our observations, release the handbrake. I'm going to move forwards, steering right, and then around to the left. before coming to a stop. And with that, we've completed our pre-use inspection check.